Today I want to show you how to set up a dissolved transition on Apple's Keynote for the Mac and for the iPad. We'll start first on your Mac. Open up Apple's Keynote and create a presentation. I have a title slide in here, but we're gonna need more slides to show this transition right. So I have a finder window open with some images. If you have 16 by nine images, images that are gonna be full screen, instead of creating photo slides, inserting a photo one at a time, you can simply drag and select the photos you have in your folder and then drag and drop them into the navigator of Keynote and it will make them automatically into full screen photo slides. There's a little bonus tip for you today. Now on the right hand side here to set this up, we need the animation inspector open. You can just click on the toolbar if you have that set up. If not, go to view, inspector, animate. And now we can tap on one slide, but I know that we're gonna make the basic same transition on all of these slides. So I can right click on it and choose select all. Now all my slides are selected. Go over here, add an effect, I'm going to go down to under Appear and Move to Dissolve. And then I want this to be a little bit faster than a default, so I'm going to bring this down to one second here in this window. And now my slides will transition and it will dissolve, and you can preview it. It fades one out, same time fading one in. And this is great overall for these slides. And if you were to play it, you would see that transition. But I also want to show you, if you want a little bit more dramatic look, we're going to have these four slides that represent four seasons. I want them to transition a little bit slower. And so I'm going to use the command key and tap on each of them or click on each of them. Now they're all selected. I'm going to increase the duration from one second to three seconds. Now when I tap over here and hit play and I transition, it's a slower transition, which would make sense if we were having a conversation talking about the changing of seasons and going from one to the next. And that's how you set up the dissolved transition on Keynote for Mac. iPad is very similar. Open up Apple's Keynote on your iPad, and we have a basic presentation set up here, but again, no other slides. If you bring up photos and do it side by side, here I have an album set up. I can choose select and choose each of these photos I want to add. Could drag them over here into the navigator. And just like on the Mac, they become full screen images. And now on here, the same thing. You can tap again and choose select all from the drop down menu. And then I have an animation or transition icon up here I can tap on. If you don't have that, just tap on your slides again and find transition in the drop down menu. At the bottom, it will say add transition. And you want to again slide over to where you see dissolve. Tap on dissolve. It'll demonstrate it for you. You can tap on that slide. If you go back down here again and tap on it, you now have your settings. For a keynote on the iPad, you simply use your finger to slide over to set the duration. Again, before I want to set this to one second. And now it's ready to go. But if you also remember, I wanted to set those seasons as a different. I'll go down here to the winner scene, hold it with one finger, and then tap on the other three slides so that they're all selected. Now I can go down here to dissolve, and I can slide this over to about three seconds. Go up here and tap done. And now as I go through and play my slides, you have a one second dissolve that in general is pretty good to use. You want that to be noticeable. And if we go through the seasons, it slows down to that three second dissolve to show more of a gradual change, a little bit more dramatic, something that you want to take some time to do in your presentation. That is how to set up the dissolve transition on Keynote for your Mac or your iPad. If you want to see more instructions, I've got more videos that show different transitions, and I have a video in the description that also shows you general principles for how to use transitions in your keynote presentation. Thanks so much.